Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to see another aspect of capacitors called the displacement and polarization. And of course, that's something that we're going to deal with when we put a dielectric inside the capacitor. So let's assume we have a capacitor. We put some charge on the capacitor caused by some potential that we put across the capacitor. So let's say we have some potential difference, delta V, across the capacitor. I'm trying to figure out what that is equal to. We place a dielectric inside the capacitor. Let's say the dielectric constant is equal to 3. Let's say the plates are 5 millimeters apart from one another. So the questions then would be, what is the displacement? What is the surface charge density? What is the polarization? What is the surface charge density of the induced charges? And what is the potential difference across, across the plates? All right, in order to figure that out, first of all, they also tell us that the resultant electric field is 10 to the 6 volts per meter. So that's a given. And that is the combination of the charges that are placed on the outside of the plates and the reverse charges, the induced charges caused by the dielectric that's in there. Notice that the, the induced charges do set up an electric field in the opposite direction, which reduces the electric field between the plates, the effective electric field between the plates. So when we add the electric field from the induced charges, that's actually adding a negative quantity. So if we want to find the delta V between the plates, notice that the definition of the electric field is equal to the change in the potential between the plates divided by the distance. So the potential difference is equal to the electric field times the distance. And in this case, the electric field is 10 to the 6 volts per meter or newtons per coulomb. Multiply times the distance of 5 millimeters. Actually, if I use volts per meter, it makes a lot more sense. So volts per meter, and we multiply that times 0 0.005 meters. That's equal to uh, 5 millimeters. So multiply that together, we get 5,000 volts. So that's the potential difference between the plates. That potential difference is maintained when we put the dielectric in there that sets up the electric field in the opposite direction due to the induced charges. So what do, we, what do we mean by the displacement? Well, first of all, let's think about it this way. If we look at one of the plates of the capacitor, and we place a charge on the capacitor, we know that we're going to have an electric field that's perpendicular to the plate. And so let's call that the electric field. And the strength of the electric field, by definition, is going to be equal to the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught. Now what happens when we place a dielectric on there? When we place a dielectric on there, we reduce the strength of the electric field because now we're going to have induced charges which set up an electric field in the opposite direction. And then you can see that the electric field is equal to the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught times the dielectric constant. And so you can see then that E is equal to sigma epsilon sub naught times k. Whoop, 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 that's, let me try that again. The electric field times epsilon sub naught times k is equal to sigma. Let's do that. So that's when we have a dielectric in there. And if we solve for, let me call this epsilon sub naught. So then we can say that epsilon sub naught times, times electric field is equal to sigma. Now the definition of the displacement, sometimes also called the D field, the displacement is equal to this. The displacement can be defined, D is equal to E times epsilon sub naught times K. If you look at this equation, and you look at this equation, notice that these are exactly the same. So what we're saying here is that the displacement is defined as the charge density of the charges on the capacitor plate when we place a dielectric in there. And now, what do you think is going to happen when we put the dielectric in there? Well, we'll put dielectric in there with the same potential difference. The amount of charge on the plates will increase, increase by a factor of the dielectric constant. So the displacement without the dielectric constant would simply be the charge density without the dielectric, which is E sub naught, so the, the original electric field times epsilon sub naught. And then the displacement is going to be the product of the electric field times epsilon sub naught times k. The electric field as defined by the resultant when we put the dielectric in there. So what happens then is this is equal to 10 to the 6th. Instead of using volt per meter, I'll use newtons per coulomb. 
multiply times epsilon sub naught, which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. That would be Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared. And multiply times the dielectric constant, which is unitless, which is 3. So now I grab a calculator and see what that is equal to. So we have 1 e to the 6th. Whoop, that's 1 e to the 6th times 8.85 e to the 12 minus times 3 equals 2.66 times 10 to the minus 5. So that's equal to 2.66 times 10 to the minus 5 in the units. Notice the Newtons cancels out. One of the Coulombs cancels out would be Coulombs per meter squared. And notice the units of the displacement is charge per unit area, which is the same units as the charge density would be charge per unit area, surface charge density. So that's known as the displacement. Now, what is the surface charge density? Well, notice that the displacement is equal to this. And since that has the same units as the surface charge density, this is also equal to this. So the surface charge density, when we put a dielectric in there, has increased by a factor of 3 when we place dielectric in there, increasing the surface charge density and also increasing the displacement. What's called the polarization? Well, the polarization is the effect of the internal action of the reversal or change of direction of the um, what we call the atoms inside a dielectric setting up an electric field in the opposite direction. So by definition, the polarization is equal to, just like what we have here, the electric field strength times epsilon sub naught times k minus 1. What's the minus 1? Well, the minus 1 comes from the charge density when we don't have a dielectric, and so we simply have epsilon sub naught times 1, and we have the dielectric in there, it's times 3. So when we take the difference between the effect of the dielectric minus the effect without the dielectric, we get k minus 1, and that is then considered the polarization. That is the effect of putting an electric field across the plates, putting a dielectric in there, having the atoms change direction to set up an electric field of their own in the opposite direction, and that then causes what we call the polarization. That's called the polarization, the effect of the electric field being uh, exerted in the opposite direction by the tilting or the polarization, as we call it, of the atoms inside the dielectric. So we put a value in there, we get this is equal to 10 to the 6th newtons per coulomb times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 coulomb squared per newton times meter squared times 3 minus 1, which is the dielectric minus 1. And if we do that, we get the same result divided by 3 times 2, and we get 1.77 times 10 to the minus 5. This is 1.77 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs per meter squared. And notice that that is the same units as the surface charge density. So what does this equal to? What is the polarization equal to? It also equals the surface charge density of the induced charges. The surface charge density of the induced charges of the dielectric, which set up an electric field in the opposite direction. And so the induced charge density is equal to 1.77 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs per meter squared. The charge density of the charge on the outside are equal to 2.66 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs per meter squared. And the charge density of the charges on the outside plates is known as the displacement or the D field, displacement field as we call it, or it creates a displacement field, and the polarization is known as the surface charge density of the induced charges on the dielectric. And at that point I think we have a pretty good handle on what we mean by the displacement and the polarization. Hopefully this helps in case you encounter a question like that.